Bonsoir tout le monde. Welcome to Montreal, hockey's holy ground. We're here for EA Sports and Les Habitants ready to roll. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. The Canadians get off to a good start as they win the opening faceoff. Puts it on net and he makes the save. Quick pass to Savard. There's another stop. I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding. Made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Barzell's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Into the attacking area from the left side. Fires it on net, and that caroms off a body in the lane. Quick shot! Oh, a great save here! And he slides it quickly to Savard. Denies him! He got all of it! Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Pollock's been working so hard with the puck and without it. It's just not dropping for him. And when it doesn't drop, it can be extremely frustrating. You want to get points, you want to feel like you're contributing. Handles the pass. Sends it in front. And gets stuck. Drives to the paint. Slip feed. Enters the offensive zone from the left. And he had an answer with that save. Through center along the wing. Breakaway. Stopped on the breakaway. What a save he made there. Well, I loved how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the paint. He said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. Dishes it to Matheson. Centering feed. And that goes off a stick and off target. Varlamov's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Still scoreless in this one. Montreal's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Fires it, and a great scene. Denies him again. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Well past the midway mark of this period, we're still scoreless. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. A little back and forth. New York's got it against the boards. Now a quick pass to Engvall. Oh, just a great heads up play by Monaghan. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Quick feed to Weidman. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. He got all that one. Shuts him down. New York's got it in their own zone. Moves it quickly over to Wallstrom. The Islanders play it along the way. Takes it in front. Scores on the rebound. It's buried. a tougher play than it looks, James. You have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes perfectly. New York's finally opened the scoring here in the first. Now let's see how both teams respond, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and I think this is a product of just playing the game differently and having a different mindset. They started the game, they were hesitant, almost as if you're playing just to keep it close and not to lose. You gotta play to win the game, and they've really opened it up in the latter half of this period. Scooped up along the wall by Gallagher. The Islanders move the puck in the defensive zone. Oh, what a hit along the wall! And that's a clean one, James. A great angle. Shoulder to shoulder and just laid it on thick. Here's a short pass to Evans. Skates in the crease. Huge stop by Barlamo. And he makes that save as well. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Canadians have had their opportunities, but they just can't capitalize here in the late stages. 
chances of the opening period. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Fans are urging for a shot on goal in the nine seconds. And that's intercepted by Dunn. Big stop just as time expires in the period. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? Montreal has had a strong first period. Off the goaltender and in! That's a goal! Well, the position is tough enough, and, and then you have these goals that wind up in the back of the net. He deposited it himself, and that's a real tough one to handle. This next shift, this next save, it's huge. New York's extended the lead to two here in the second. And I think they need to continue to play desperate. Don't sit back. There's a lot of runway left. Continue to take control of the game. And after the drive center, they've got a hold of the puck. Loves the puck into the offensive zone corner. And he loses control here. Quick feed to Thompson. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Moves it to Matheson. Sends a pass over. Oh, and a slick stop by Varlamov. New York's gained the line and into the zone. Tries to feed it over to Caulfield. Down the right side and into the zone. He got all of that one. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Slides the puck to Nelson. New York's got it along the wall. Montreal's got the puck. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. The score! I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you gotta have the will. Montreal's on the board, and suddenly we've got a different looking hockey game. You can feel the momentum shifting, and there's so many games within a game, James, and this is one right here as they get within striking distance in the second period. A lot of run right here. They've been rifling a lot of shots on net, and they get one to drop. Broken up by Cooley. Gets the puck over to Harvey Pinard. The Canadians take it along the wall. Here's a shot! 
Oh, gets a pat on that one. What a stop by Montembeau. Change up, come on. The Canadians should play it against the wall. <laughs> Solid body contact. New York's across the blue line. place here, Cheryl. I can feel it, you can feel it, and he can feel it after that last save, because you know what fans appreciate? They appreciate effort, James, and that's how that save was made. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. The Canadians win the draw. Taken by Pullock. Quick pass to Lee. down and one more still to come third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice Move it ahead. Moves into the slot. Oh, and he misses on a great eight-plus scoring chance there. Well, he's right exactly where he wants to be. He's got the puck on his stick, just unable to put it in the mesh. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Sends it out in front, and he couldn't handle the pass as he was knocked off target. Here's a short pass to Wallstrom. Let's see what the officials are calling. The Canadians have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. The first penalty kill of the night for this team, and they won't let that knock their confidence. We know their penalty kill unit is ranked toward the bottom of the league. It's something they've been actively working on to improve. So let's see if any of their improvements show up tonight. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Boom! <laughs> wow, what a thunderous hit there. Uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, he get nailed. Top Tolbert right up to the pitch. That's a little awkward. Uh, real awkward, isn't it, James? You can see kind of the extra shots happening there as they get out of here. You gotta pick yourself up and you gotta make your way to your own bench. That's a tough one. The Canadians scoop it up along the boards. Shekai's got it to the side. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Monahan's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Offense's own faceoff and he wins the draw. New York's got the puck along the wall. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. The Canadians get a hold of the puck under man. Anderson's penalty has expired. Well, I really like this PK unit, James. Just working in sync, almost as if they're on a pendulum or a string together, knowing exactly what the other is going to do and a reason they're still tied. 
And that plays offside. We got a face off coming up. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We are all tied up in this one. And they win that draw center. And that's broken up. The Canadians move to the offensive zone. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Prince hits up play by the defender. Dobson's got it along the boards. Driving right to the front. Made that stop. Moves it to Wideman. Oh, what a violent collision there. He just got railroaded. in. Close space so fast and just taken down. And player hauled down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The Canadians are getting two minutes for tripping. Across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. <laughs> Evans is ready for the face-off as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. Pacho has won it off the face-off. New York's in transition. Quick pass to Pajo. Here's a chance. Denied by Montembeau. Shot, and that got cut up in traffic and goes off a stick. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Made the stop on that play. They are really dialed in here tonight. Scooped up by the D. Montreal's got it across the line. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. For the low side. Scores! And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now is on the line. That's a tough one to take, James. I mean, you're in a power play. It's a tie game. You have to manage the puck, and you have to create scoring chances, not give them up. The Canadians have to be feeling good about themselves after taking the lead with that goal here in the third. Yeah, and it's not much of a cushion the way this game has gone back and forth, James, but it's something. You're in the lead, so now you want to continue with that tempo. Find a way to push your opponent back. Continue to punch and press. Montreal's got it in their own zone. Both teams back to even strength, and after giving up a shorthanded goal, it's an opportunity the power play unit will probably sooner forget. Sometimes when you're on a power play, you can get caught cheating, and I think you have a lot more time than you do, and it winds up in the back of their net. That's a tough one. Rocks them on the play. Trailing late in the game, you need a spark. You need to change momentum, and that is why that hit is delivered. Caulfield's moving it ahead. New York's got possession of the puck. Takes a shot. New York's trailing, that's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. And that pass attempt is deflected. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Storms into the empty net. Connor, I feel like you must have had a few empty netters in your day. Oh yeah, this I was on the back end. I didn't have hands, so when I scored one, listen, I celebrated. I was down and out. This bumping everywhere, even when it was the empty net. You can see the emotion on everyone on the ice as that empty netter went in. That's an insurance marker, and that's going to be the game. Montreal's got time, and after that empty netter, uh, quite a significant lead on their side now here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, it's all but over, isn't it? And that's a great play to be able to get that puck 200 feet down the ice when you're under pressure with the extra attacker. Shot! Missed the net! Oh, they would have tied it right there! Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? When you're trying to pick a corner, the goalie's set to position. Sometimes it's the result. attacker and you know that you get the extra advantage but unfortunately it doesn't work out it goes the other way well, that's a strong effort all the way around stingy defensively at the end of the game and they're able to get that empty netter and it's the dying minutes here james it should seal the deal 
in the third. And it is all over with this one. New York's empty net approach seemed to backfire tonight as they just tried to get a little too aggressive and cost them. Well, backfire it did, James. I don't like it. After that first goal, you put your tender back in. Why? That's just negative energy for the losing team. This has really become one of the real premier party destinations in the hockey landscape, and here's a reason why. Look at the celebration here, Cheryl. And you got to love this. I mean, the fans are there for you while you're playing the game, and you come back out to say thank you to them. Well, we certainly had a great time tonight, everybody in the broadcast crew as well, and from all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabolski wishing you a safe and healthy night, and we'll see you down the road again soon.